Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahman Rujanati from 11 Natural Science Tree of Man Insan Cendikia Serpong. In this video, I'll introduce you to the isomers of C7H16. But wait a minute. Isomers? What are those? Isomers are molecules that have the same numbers of the same kinds of atoms and hence the same formula but differ in chemical and physical properties. So, they have the same formula but differ in chemical and physical properties. What I want you to remember is a carbon atom can bind four other carbon atoms. So, we can imagine that they have four hands that can bind other carbon atoms or hydrogen atoms. So, let's start finding the isomers of C7H16. To find isomers of a molecule, you should start from the basic structure by drawing all the carbon atoms in a line. So, here I draw seven carbon atoms in a line and connect it with single bonds. Of course, because it is an alkane, and then we just have to complete the carbon atoms with hydrogen atoms based on how many hands left that don't bind with any carbon atoms. Let's see the first carbon atom. It binds to one carbon atom, so you need to add three hydrogen atoms to it. How about the second carbon atom? It binds to two carbon atoms, so you need to add two hydrogen atoms to it. If you have finished adding the hydrogen atoms to all of the carbon atoms, the molecule is written like this. This chain is called N-heptane. N means normal, and heptane means that there are seven carbon atoms in the main chain, and they were all tied together with single bonds only. Let's move into the second isomer. The second isomer has a methyl branch at the second carbon atom of its main chain, which is a hexane, so it's called 2-methylhexane. Let's go to the third isomer. The third isomer has a methyl branch at the third carbon atom of its main chain, which is a hexane, so it's called 3-methylhexane. How about the fourth isomer? The fourth isomer has two methyl branch at the second carbon atom of its main chain, which is a pentane, so it's called 2 and 2 dimethyl pentane. And then the fifth isomer. The fifth isomer has two methyl branches at the third carbon atom of its main chain, which is a pentane, so it's called 3 and 3 dimethyl pentane. Let's go to the 6th isomer. The 6th isomer has two methyl branches at the 2nd and the 3rd carbon atom of the main chain which is a pentane. So it's called 2,1,3-dimethylpentane. Let's move to the 7th isomer. The 7th isomer has two methyl branches at the 2nd and the 4th carbon atom of the main chain which is a pentane. So it's called 2 and 4 dimethylpentane. And then the 8th isomer. The 8th isomer has 3 methyl branches, 2 at the 2nd carbon atom and 1 at the 4th carbon atom. And its main chain is a butane, so it's called 2 and 2 and 3 trimethyl butane. And finally, the last isomer of C7H16. The ninth isomer has an ethyl branch, which is CH2 and CH3 combined become C2 and H5, and its main chain is a pentane, so it's called 3-ethylpentane. So in conclusion, there are 9 isomers of C7H16. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or you can write your questions down below at the comment section. 
If you like this video, hit the like button and share this video to your friends. If you want other video like this, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss my new video. Thank you buddies. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.